there's a lot hidden away beneath our planet's oceans. From treasures to marine life and more, here's 10 shocking discoveries made by deep sea divers. Number 10, San Jose. During the Spanish War of Succession, the King of Spain sent a ship called the San Jose on a quest to South America to raid some of the colonies that were there to help support the war. Loaded up with gold, silver, and emeralds from the South America conquests, 600 crew members on the Spanish galleon, armed with 62 cannons, left South America in 1708, intent on delivering its valuables back to Spain. However, on the way, the ship learned that they were no match for the English warships. On June 8th, the San Jose was sunk by a British ship. The San Jose was lost to the sea, along with its precious cargo, estimated to be worth nearly 20 billion. It was said to be the holy grail of shipwrecks, meaning that no one knew where it was, but when it would be found, it would truly be an amazing discovery. For centuries, the ship was lost on the ocean floor, until finally, in 2015, the San Jose was discovered off the coast of Colombia. The Colombian Navy found it sunk 2,000 feet below the ocean surface. The discovery itself was made using a Remus 6000 underwater vehicle. It descended to an astonishing depth and took pictures of the felled vessel. Scientists were able to confirm it was the San Jose because of the design of its cannons and other items that were photographed by the Remus. The real-life treasure ship has long been the subject of fascination. Nobel Prize-winning author Gabriel Garcia Marquez wrote about the galleon in Love in the Time of Cholera. The novel's main character, Florentina Ariza, planned to dive down and retrieve the San Jose's riches for his long-life love. Aw. The wreck itself is a major historical find. Number 9. Giant Pyrosum The deep sea is largely unexplored and marine scientists are constantly surprised by the creatures they find roaming the depths in darkness. The giant pyrosome is known as the unicorn of the sea, as not many have got to see it, let alone take photos and videos of it. But in August 2013, divers did indeed get to witness the massive creature. Pyrosomes, for those who have never seen them or heard about them, are free-floating, colonial tunicates that usually live in the upper layers of the open ocean in warm seas, although some may be found at greater depths. Pyrosomes are cylindrical or cone-shaped colonies, up to 60 feet long, made up of hundreds to thousands of individuals, known as zooids. Each individual is wrapped up together in a gelatinous tunic, and it's that which divers see if they're lucky enough to encounter the creature. Giant pyrosomes are bioluminescent. The light produced by the creature is particularly bright and long-lasting and is beautiful to witness. Despite being composed of many organisms, it doesn't move freely on its own, as you would expect. Rather, it gets pushed and pulled by the currents and the tides of the waters that it's in. Due to that, the shape of the giant pyrosome shifts and warps, depending on the waters that it's in at the time, giving you a truly unique and rare experience should you find one. Number 8. The Lost City of Heracleion It was barely a legend, appearing in only a few rare inscriptions in ancient texts. The city of Thonus, Heracleion, was hidden away for thousands of years, submerged deep under the sea. During its life above water, Heracleion was an important city to Egypt and was even called the gateway to the country. When it was taken by the oceans, it was named the Lost Kingdom of Cleopatra. Scientists believe that a combination of earthquakes, tidal waves, and even floods forced the city into the water. As a key port town for the country, there's no doubt that Egypt had to recover in terms of both land and economic loss. It was discovered by accident in 2000 when a team of divers came across a colossal face emerged in the watery shadows off the coast of Alexandria. They would go on to find other such fragments of rock, leading to more dives and more discoveries. As each piece was found, it painted a clearer picture that they didn't just find a few unique pieces of carved stonework, but an entire lost city. This realization would lead to a massive search for the city itself through the use of sonar and other technological devices. Among the underwater ruins were 64 ships, 700 anchors, a treasure trove of gold coins, and statues standing at 16 feet tall. It's important to acknowledge that technology is a big reason for this discovery, because without it, most of its pieces may not have been found. Its rediscovery helped bring a key piece of Egyptian history back to the fold, as well as shed some light on the elemental history of the region. Hey, if you're new to the channel, welcome. 
Thanks for watching. Give this video a like and hit that subscribe button for more videos like these. Number 7. Giant Barrel Jellyfish Jellyfish are a key part of the ocean, and not unlike many other species of animal, they come in all shapes and sizes. But for two divers in 2019, they would soon come face to face with a shockingly massive jellyfish known as the giant barrel jellyfish that would change their vision of scope to some degree. Some jellyfish are truly massive in terms of their length, like the lion's mane jellyfish, which has tentacles over 100 feet long. But with the giant barrel jellyfish, it's well over the size of a regular human, as Dan Abbott and Lizzie Daly would soon discover on their undersea adventure. The two divers were actually trying to film blue sharks when they spotted the cream-colored jellyfish off the coast of Cornwall, England, and it was the largest of its kind ever photographed. It's known to get this large, but I haven't seen one this big, Daly told CBS News. Dan said he hasn't seen one this big either. Their appearance is quite distinctive. They're the largest jellyfish you can get here in the UK waters, Daly said. They're not really a threat to humans, they have a mild sting, but wouldn't cause damage to humans, which they would then prove in their expedition as they went and swam alongside the jellyfish for well over an hour. Barrel jellyfish can grow up to 90 centimeters across and weigh an insane 77 pounds. This beautiful creature can measure up to you and even engulf you should it ever get the inclination, showing once again why the ocean is full of many hidden wonders. Number six, underwater river. Near the ancient Mayan city of Tulum, on the east coast of the Yudacan Peninsula, Cenote Angelita, or Little Angel, everything appears perfectly normal from the surface. It looks just like a deep, tranquil pool surrounded in vegetation. But if you dive down about 30 meters or 100 feet, you'll find something odd, a misty river flowing on its own through its clear, still surroundings. At first, the thought, let alone the existence of an underwater river seems plausible, if not impossible. Yet an underwater river is precisely what a group of amateur cave explorers discovered when they went scuba diving here. This isn't a river in the traditional sense. What's truly going on though, is a mixture of saltwater and hydrogen sulfide that causes the saltwater and the freshwater that is in the area to separate, thus making it seem like the area is moving like a river. The cloud of smoke that is made from the process is what helps sell the illusion of the underwater river, and it's what attracts divers to explore it because it makes the area seem more haunting and alive. Treasures like ancient Mayan artifacts and evidence of ancient human sacrifices have also been detected in these enchanting underwater rivers. To reach this particular submerged gem, you have to dive deep into the waters, and through that perspective, you'll go from crystal clear waters to a ghostly forest over a period of time. Number five, the structures of Zakynthos. There's plenty of underwater cities throughout the world that have either been documented or remain a mystery. But in the case of Zakynthos, an island off the coast of Greece, a much bigger mystery needed to be solved. And the results were a bit shocking and to some, disappointing. Divers discovered various column-like structures in the waters off the island and based on their size and shape, appeared to be the remnants of a lost city. Yay! However, after further analysis, it was later revealed that it wasn't structures at all, but the result of a geological phenomenon that has been happening for many millions of years. Archaeologists with the effort of underwater antiquities of Greece were the ones to take a look at these structures, which resembled columns, and determined that while they were structure-like, there were other clues to show that this wasn't a true city. Julian Andrews, a professor at UEA's School of Environmental Sciences, said in a statement, there were what superficially looked like circular column bases and paved floors, but mysteriously, no other signs of life, such as pottery. The researchers say that the mysterious structures, which at first glance appeared to be man-made, were formed as methane gas leaked out from beneath the seabed. It will no doubt disappoint many who had hoped the discovery may be an archaeological time capsule to rival a lost Egyptian city. Mother Nature just played a joke on us. Number four, lost World War II fighter planes. Many lives were tragically lost in World War II. There are families that had no answers to their loved ones' exact whereabouts for generations. In February 1944, Operation Hailstone was a decisive victory for the U.S., but it came at a cost to the American forces. 
The last time anyone saw these military aircrafts, U.S. forces were pummeling Japanese targets in the Western Pacific. As a result of those dogfights, there were many U.S. and Japanese planes lost in the seas. Operations like Project Recover were made to find these planes. The team of researchers discovered former American fighter planes buried deep underwater in Micronesia. The operation did help, but there's still many more to be recovered, as 50 Japanese ships, 230 aircrafts, 30 of which were American, are still expected to be somewhere in the Truk Lagoon. This means that Project Recover has more work ahead of itself. However, just finding two of these planes is quite an accomplishment, as it helped remember and even return a part of history that was shot down in 1944. Number 3. 1,000-Year-Old Treasure Sometimes, people just get really lucky. And while some people test their luck playing the lottery, others test their luck investigating the most unexplored parts of the planet. In the case of Zeke Affair, his find was entirely unexpected. He saw something glimmering on the ocean floor. At first, he thought this might be a wrapper of some sort. When he picked it up, he was shocked to find a gold coin. I was astonished when I saw that both sides of the metal were gold, he said. He was in for a bigger shock as more coins were found there after he swept through the sand. Thayer and his diving companions got back to their boat and contacted the officials who called the Israeli Antiquities Authority and told them to come quickly. After explaining the situation, Fair and his team were allowed to go back down and look for more coins. They found 2,000 of them. What's more, they were from a treasure lost 1,000 years ago. Each coin was equivalent to one month's salary for a military soldier. The treasure would have been enough to hire 2,000 soldiers. So imagine that for a second. You're going for a regular dive in an area you've gone through before, and then you find a lost treasure. That's truly a happy day. Number two, underwater anaconda. Whether you choose to acknowledge it or not, there are some terrifying creatures under the sea. And though we're used to seeing snakes slithering above the surface of the water, there are ones that are capable of diving below. Many sea snakes are fine with just swimming in the waters and never going to the surface. But one type of snake you'd never think to find fully submerged in the water is a green anaconda. And you would be wrong in making that assumption. If you don't believe me, ask Bartholomew Bove, a professional diver who went into the Formosa River in 2019 to do some underwater filming when he found himself looking at the largest snake we know of to exist in the world today, the green anaconda. The massive serpent was 23 feet long and had no problem with him filming her. She went peacefully and playfully to the camera and stuck her tongue on the lens before gliding away. This is why you need to be very alert when it comes to things like diving in certain rivers. You never know who or what you're going to meet. Number one, dugong in chains. There's so much to discover underwater. That's part of the fun for divers and researchers. But what you wouldn't expect to find is an animal in chains waiting for you to find it. Such was the case when a group of divers went to the island of Kokoya off North Maluku in Indonesia. It's usually an ideal place to swim and investigate. The crystal clear water is home to a variety of beautiful marine life and the weather is almost always warm. What the divers discovered there instead was a nightmare. At the bottom of the ocean, just off the coast, were a series of underwater cages. Inside those cells were two dugongs, a rare marine animal that's closely related to the manatee. The adult dugong was reportedly chained in a cage while her calf was kept nearby in a separate enclosure. Photos and video of the animals were captured by the group of divers. A local fisherman had chained them up in order to make a profit. Apparently, the fishermen would get paid by people to get closer to the sea creatures. The divers that found them in this story knew that they had to act and they tried to go and convince the fisherman to let them go, which he refused and then agreed to. But the divers weren't convinced, so they took footage of the dugongs and chains and the footage went viral. After that, animal protection agencies descended on the cages to make sure the dugongs were released. When they found out that they weren't, they forced the fishermen to let them go. And should any of you out there find a similar situation, call the authorities to make sure they're freed because no creature should be chained up like that. Thanks for watching. What did you think of these shocking discoveries made by deep sea divers? Let me know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.